I'm Jesse Jackson, and this is your Look News 411. A fire in Corinth left a man homeless on Saturday. It took over 40 firefighters nearly an hour to knock down the flames after responding to a call shortly after 11 a.m. on Saturday. The home which belonged to Don Allen was considered a total loss. Corinth Fire Chief Andy Kelly told Look News about the damage. Yeah, it's not livable. Um, he's going to have to probably tear it down and start all over again. Now, Allen was not home at the time and there were no injuries. The fire was determined by investigators to have started in the living room and due to a faulty wire. And the Phantoms played at home on Saturday night before a near sellout crowd. The team held its Fan Appreciation Night and Community Recognition Night. Just over 4,500 fans packed the Civic Center to watch the Phantoms take on the Springfield Falcons. The Phantoms came back from a 2-0 deficit, but would end up losing in a shootout. And March was a tough month for the Phantoms as they went 2-12 and, and lost their last five in a row. Now this week, the Phantoms are at home Friday through Sunday and have just five home games left as they enter the final three weeks of the season. And Warren County will eliminate two positions as part of a restructuring process. The airport will see its maintenance staff cut from four to three. The workload will be picked up by other departments in the county. The staff's main priority is runway clearing and lawn mowing. The job being cut was recently vacated, therefore no layoffs were made. Now the changes will shuffle 12 other positions and save the county $103,000 in salary and benefits. Public Works Superintendent Jeff Tennyson said it will affect all areas of the department and will utilize seasonal and part-time workers when possible. And you can join me here and every night as I recap the stories that matter to you.